Hello everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a very belated uh, video on uh, a topic I've been wanting to discuss for so, so long, and that is LGBT literature. So I was introduced to this genre, I believe, from Melissa, and I thank her for that so much because I think she was really um, stressing the fact that David Levithan was an amazing author, and now I totally agree. I love David Levithan so much. He is absolutely phenomenal. And my two favorite books by him, I've already talked about these a couple of times this week, but The Realm of Possibility and Love is the Higher Law by David Levithan. I, I love these books so much. Because this is about uh, kids in high school, and uh, it includes LGBT characters as well, and I really, really appreciate that because there are gay kids in school, of course, and I just feel like that's really realistic, and it's also kind of inspirational as well to me because uh, I just feel like I, I have something to think about and something to read and something kind of kind of inspire me to be a better person and be more open about my sexuality and I, I really have David Levithan to thank for that. Along with that I have uh, Brian Ferry's book With or Without You to thank for a huge reason um, and that's because of Eric and you all know I love Eric and I haven't really expressed Oh, I've expressed how much I love him before, but I haven't talked about um, some of the things that happened while I was questioning, and um, this book really um, helped me to kind of do some soul-searching in my life and just be more open about myself and be more honest with myself, and I just, oh, if I ever meet Brian Ferry, I swear to God, I will give him a hug, and I will probably cry, and I will just, I, I would die, I would totally die, because... Oh, he does not even, I don't even know if he understands how much I appreciate what his book did for me. And just, oh, God, I love you, Brian. And I think that uh, it's just a phenomenal book. Also, another reason why I love LGBT literature, it teaches kids and people in general uh, very, very, very important issues that happen in the world. Like, in With or Without You, there's a thing called bug chasing which I had no idea even existed at all, and it's it's honestly the scariest thing I've ever read about. And my heart goes out to anyone who has gone through this, or is going through this, and I just, oh, I want to give them a hug and just say, you don't have to do this, oh my god. And that's another thing, I totally forgot to bring the book in here, but Tricks by Ellen Hopkins also taught me that. Um, not the same kind of, of, of idea, but like, the, the, uh, prospect of prostitution, and, uh, that gay characters do it too, or not, not gay characters, gay people, you know, and I just, it, it's really prominent in our society, and it happens, and I, I appreciate Ellen Hopkins for writing about it, and just, ah, uh, that's why I love LGBT literature. It brings out important issues that happen to our kids, to people in general, and it just is a wonderful thing. It's, it's wonderful. It's, it's great to read about these stories so that I don't actually go through the same thing and learn from their stories. Like with David Levison's Love is the Higher Law, I learned that you know, during 9-11, gay people couldn't give blood. I learned about the gay blood plan and how bigoted and stupid that law was. And uh, I'm, I'm grateful that um, that law is now abolished. At least I'm pretty sure it's abolished. It better be, because that is so bigoted, so stupid. Yet another reason to love David Levithan. I ha oh, ha, oh, this man, oh my god. And this isn't really LGBT literature, but something that I really, really appreciate is when authors like Stephanie Perkins puts uh, LGBT characters into her novel, or their novel, or whatever, and I just really, really appreciate that, because that's more realistic, and I, I loved this book, and I loved um, Lola's Two Fathers to death, and I also love the theme that just because you have two gay dads or two gay moms does not mean you're going to be gay. I'm just, oh, thank you, thank you, Stephanie Perkins, thank you. I've read a few books about questioning teenagers as well, and that also kind of helped me through my questioning experiences too, um, especially last year when I read this. It really helped me, and I just, oh, I can't even describe to you how much I am so appreciative of David Levithan, Larry Ferry, Ellen Hopkins, uh, Stephanie Perkins, and also Alex Sanchez for writing really dark themes with um, gay characters, and I just, I'm so so grateful. 
This book talks about bigotry and how it happens and why it happens, and I'm really, really grateful for that because it kind of makes me see uh, uh, homophobia and just bigotry in general with new eyes, and I just, I, I'm really, really grateful for this author as well in this book. Uh, it's, it's really, really great. If you haven't read any LGBT literature or any literature with gay characters in general, I definitely, definitely recommend you read it because there, it's not just for, you know, gay teenagers or anything. It's, it's, it's just, it's prominent in our society and it's important for everyone to read about, to open their minds to new things, to open their minds to how people can be and bigotry and everything. And I think it's just a wonderful thing. So please, please read all of these books. These books are fantastic, and I have so much love for these authors, and oh my gosh, if I could, like, meet them, I would give them all hugs because they have changed my life and made it better, and I, I'm just so grateful for them. Also, if you have any suggestions for LGBT literature, please post comments below and let me know. I'm always looking for more uh, new stories and just more to kind of better my life and to make my mind more open about things and I just I'm really 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 would love to have those recommendations. Also another thing that uh, LGBT literature has kind of impacted on my life is that now I want to write LGBT literature or not even LGBT literature just I want to write about characters who are gay or straight or bi or transgender. I just I feel like that would be great for my career and also just to kind of express my feelings about it and to get the word out there and I would just love to help other people as well who are questioning or are, um, you know, struggling with that or anything. And that's just what I want to be as a writer. I want to write stories that help people and make them see things with new light. So yes, I am eternally grateful for all these authors and these books and I'm just so happy. So. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope you all love LGBT literature as much as I do. And if you haven't, please read these books again. Uh, they're amazing. They're so great and poignant and just amazing. I love them all. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys tomorrow.